Well, the Bank of America getting hammered in the court of public opinion over plans to start charging a $5 monthly fee for the use of their debit cards to make purchases. B of A stock, which was already trading at about six bucks, fell even further as enraged customers have accused the bank of gouging them and they promised to take their business elsewhere. One Fox News anchor went so far as to cut up her debit card on the air. Well, not being a B of A customer, I've no need to go quite that far, but instead I've got some pointed questions for Terry Green. He's a branch manager for the Allied Home Mortgage Corporation. He's also president of the National Lenders Alliance. Terry, glad to see you. Glad to see you, Dave. Thanks for coming in tonight. Well, okay, first of all, is this just a move by a desperate bank that's really down on its luck, or is this something we're all going to be dealing with? Oh, this isn't a desperate move. The, the government has taken away their ability to collect a merchant fee, so they're just trying to replace that lost profit with another profit. Now, they could collect some merchant fee. They just couldn't collect as much as merchant fee. Isn't that correct? Well, on a debit card, they're not collecting any merchant fee now. Okay. It's just right. on credit cards. You know, five bucks a month is not a lot of money. It's $60 a year. Most people could afford that. I think it's the principle of the thing when people blame banks for most of our economic trouble. Taxpayers help bail them out. Some, some of those same taxpayers are being foreclosed on. They just think this is too much. Well, they do, but it's a good thing. The way I see it, I've been preaching for years for people to cut up their debit cards anyway because it's the worst card to use. Your credit card is the one you want to use. Why would that be? I mean, your debit card does not get you in debt. That's why they're so popular. Well, that's part of the reason why it is not the right card because there's four really good things you get with a credit card. One is you get to help your credit score. Debit cards do nothing for your credit score. If you charge and then pay it off, it establishes good credit and your score starts to rise so that you can get better rates on everything. Okay, but that's the problem. Most people don't charge it and pay it off. They charge it and then begin to build up debt. That's the good thing about a debit card, right? Well, I think it's time for those people to grow up and learn how to face their, their responsibilities and pay that debt. Okay. Because that's what, that's what it's all about. You need to establish a good credit score. Okay, so at the end of the day, we're all going to be paying these extra fees. Let me ask you this question. It used to be the bank and you had a deal. You let them hold some of your money. They paid you a little interest. They made more interest by loaning it out or whatever. You wrote some checks. You got a credit card or something. That was the deal we had. What's wrong with that? Why is that no longer a viable business? Good question. Well, because the banks have lost their ability to make money on the money. The, the government regulations are limiting what they can do, so they're losing a lot of revenue. They've got to pick it back up. Okay, now you keep blaming the government regulations. A lot of folks are skeptical because they say the banks are just getting involved in more and more risky things. They want too much money, that profit is the only goal when they could do safer things, still make some money, and not charge us so much. Well, that's true, and with the regulations, it has helped because now the loans they do are good. The new loans are all safe. Banks aren't lending out money that is going to get foreclosed on right away anymore. So that's good. They're doing smart things, but they still need to pick up the lost revenue. Mm, and they, they have to survive. So, and, and so when you look at the ways they're trying to pick up the lost revenue, what other charges are we going to be dealing with? And is it always going to be the small guy who has to pay, the guy who only doesn't have $5,000 in his checking account who ends up having to pay the charge for checking? Well, he doesn't have to pay the charge because he can tear up that debit card. He can use a checkbook again. Bring the old checkbook out. Use the checkbook. There's no fees for that. All right. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you tonight. And the idea that maybe this is a good thing, we'll have to mull that over. Okay. okay. Let's go on over to Topper at the Weather Center. Hey, Topper.